Cold Sands. Go back to the cold sounds. Keep my effort to yourself. Cause it's nothing that I don't like. Is it a crisis or a poor exchange? When it's essential, so essential. It's got a nice ring when you laugh at the low life opinions. And we're coming to the chorus now. I keep my Heading to London, and this time Quincy would be coming with us. During our stay, we'd be catching some live music at the Roundhouse in Camden, as well as showing Quincy all the sights and sounds of the big city. Although not overly keen on dogs, loud noises or new experiences as a whole, Quincy seemed to cope with the bustling chaos of London's underground system surprisingly well. It was as we neared our accommodation in Kennington that we came across Oval Farmer's Market. Bridget was suddenly struck by the need to buy peanut butter. Our accommodation was quirky to say the least. Every corner seemed to hide something of interest. Quincy, being a dog of some travel experience, settled quickly into his new surroundings. Before long we were heading out again, making our way towards the Camden Roundhouse. Purchasing a pint of red wine each, our only option under the circumstances, we made for the main stage. Have you seen a fair-haired lad with a mole atop his nose? The very same went free this morning. Despite a relatively slow start, we were soon up, and we were keen to show Quincy every major tourist attraction that London had to offer.
Adding to Quincy's litany of anxieties, it was at this moment that he decided that he was afraid of heights, or water, or both. It was on reaching the Houses of Parliament that the magnitude of our endeavour finally sunk in. Sensibly, we decided to take a break from the sightseeing, opting instead to go for drinks at Gordon's Wine Bar. late afternoon. As we settled into a glass of wine and a fantastic cheese board selection, the weather, which had been very much on our side until this point, spectacularly began to change. You okay? Next time I'm caught in a dangerous situation, this is the man I would want close at hand. Despite the rising waters, the screams of terror and the torrential rain, he carried on with his meal regardless. The next morning saw us setting out early. A few weeks earlier, Battersea Power Station had reopened and now housed an elaborate new shopping centre. As huge Pink Floyd fans, and as somebody who is more than a little geeky about architecture, it seemed too good an opportunity to pass up.
just as we were tucking into our breakfast, another dog arrived. Quincy, in typical style, decided to make his presence known. Sorry! <laughs> Needless to say, we were more embarrassed than he was. All that was left was to finish off our sightseeing from the day before.
And with that, our time in London had finally come to a close. Excitingly, our next trip would see us returning at long last to Japan. Japan.